Hello and welcome to uh, this, uh, well, really unexpected ramble around the churchyard of St Nicholas. And this is a beautiful day. It's it's Monday, Thursday, and I thought I'd just add this in as a. I was inspired really um, by wandering around as part of my exercise today and this week, really by some of the sights that I've seen. And and what we can have seen is, is I've seen loads of, of, of um, rainbows within the windows and we've it's it's becoming such a phenomenon of sharing hope sharing confident messages that it's been shown all over the place so you see here um, messages uh, locally uh, that are becoming a phenomenon uh, that um, even the oral history project is starting to sort of see these and saying capture all these different little pictures and and wanting to be able to preserve them to uh, share and keep a record of the fact that we are living in extraordinary times. Um, times that um, people are using to put, to put these rainbows in the windows to say thank you to people, to express their hope, uh, to express as well their messages of support to some of the people that are on the front line. And I'm, another thing that has, has really uh, motivated me to um, to uh, post this is thinking about all those people I know who are working in the front line, who are working in the essential services, who are in the health services and newly qualified as well, falling into a position where they're, they're coming rushing into um, work that they're only barely trained to do but nevertheless they are doing their duty, they are doing the thing that they have to do for us in, in really extraordinary circumstances. And those people who are working, especially within the NHS, within the healing professions, uh, ties back into some of the, the things that we see inside the windows of St. Nicholas. Healing is a, is a massively important part of uh, what we see uh, inside St. Nicholas and the architecture of the church. Um, and it brings us back into it actually the relationship between healing and today, which is Monday Thursday. Monday is a strange word. It's actually a corruption of a Latin word meaning, or, or a corruption word, which is mandatum, uh, and that means a command or law. It's a stronger meaning than simply a command. It is the law, and the law is related to a command that Jesus gave the disciples. And this is it. This is a quote from uh, the Gospel of John. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. So Jesus doesn't care whether we actually like each other. He just wants us to love each other. And um, love is about... Well, it's not about our own personal preferences. It's uh, there's no excuses in this command. We can't get out of that. We we are called to love whether we are ourselves are tired, whether we're hungry, whether we've had a forty-eight hour shift, whether whether we're grumpy, whether or not we feel lovely ourselves. We are called to love, and it's astonishing. It's not about our feelings, it's about our doing, and that's about doing the right thing. And that ramble brings us back into the thoughts about those people, those who are friends, those people who are our neighbours, who are caught doing the right thing, which is carrying that burden of, of practical love, that practical burden of care. and. It brings us back to the messages of support that we see around our neighbourhood in the windows. The windows are showing this rainbow, this this message of hope and a security in, in a promise that all things will be well in the end. And, and when we think back, that word rainbow ties us back into the days of Noah and the ark and the idea that there will be based on the promise of God, there will be never more a disaster that will, will shake humanity to uh, its roots. And that bow is important, that bit of rainbow is that knot, that thing that ties us, it's a surety that we can be absolutely certain about. 
And the rainbow is at the heart of St. Nicholas Church in its architecture. So this is the focus point. This is, this is a picture of part of the high altar at the east end of the church. So this is where we come back rambling this time inside the church. And if we look here, this, this bit of the church that we're seeing is, is the screen behind the altar, which is the Reredos. And it's a, it's a vision, it's a, it's a carving that tries to capture parts of uh, the book of Revelation. That's the last book of the Bible. And do you like the design? Do you like the stonework? Do you like the marble that's used here? Um, actually, in the 20th century, a big chunk of the 20th century, this was all covered up. I remember this from, from well, I never knew this until really my, my 20s, when it was revealed by a rector who had undone the work of a previous rector, who hated this so much, hated this so much, that it reminded him of the, uh, of the, of the, of the words of the uh, words in the documentation is that it's um, it reminded him of the marble inside a cheap tea room so he had uh, covered it up but actually it is astonishingly beautiful when we look at the center point here you see a lamb standing on a rainbow a, a lamb enthroned on a rainbow a rainbow throne and and this is um, the Lamb is the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God is Jesus, and this is a is a, a rich metaphor, a visual metaphor for for Jesus. And the whole iconography here of the uh, of the Reredos is is, is a worth the subject of on its own ramble to explain what's going on here. But um, you see, you see the Lamb of God, which we understand to be Jesus, and we understand as Christians or Christians understand, I should say, uh, that Jesus is God and God is love in the terminology. And you can see here the idea that love is enthroned on a rainbow. And that comes from the book of Revelation talking about how the lamb is enthroned and the, and the throne is a rainbow. I'll just quote here, a rainbow that shone like an emerald encircled the throne. So here at the heart, St. Nicholas is a rainbow that reminds the congregation of God's promise to love, to continue to love, and in turn reminds us of our own responsibility through Jesus' command to love one another. So I'm going to come to really a conclusion here, thinking about what we've we've looked at. I, I rambled around just thinking about the nature of rainbows and how that ties into the iconography, the, the history of, of, of St. Nicholas. So that's it. Um, I'm going to end today. Very short ramble from Monday, Thursday. I hope to see you uh, as we do a proper exploration of the Gibson tomb on Sunday um, and we'll step inside there. So, so long. Your history, Sutton. <laughs>